Hey guys, I've got a new DVD update here for you. It's been quite a while since my last one, probably about five or six months, I'd guess. And uh, th this will yeah, this will actually be the last one for a while because I've got uh, I've got to save money for rent and Christmas and stuff. But they're definitely my annual blockbuster after Christmas one. That'll definitely still be a thing this year. I just gotta I gotta slow her down because the student loan's been uh, drying up quite quite fast so but uh i've got quite a selection i've got 11 things but some blu-rays dvds and tv shows so i'm gonna start with the blu-rays as i always do and work my way from there so first up i've got beowulf now this is the 2007 director's cut version of beowulf um i never actually i don't think i've ever seen this the whole way through or even if i did i didn't understand it. it's been so long but I, I'm actually reading Beowulf in my uh, one of my English classes, or we were, and I figured I would buy this to maybe help me understand it, which it's not. It's not hard to understand, really. It's just it kind of just a companion. You know, you know how you do that in school sometimes. You just uh, you watch the movie, or you, you like read the book, then watch the movie to compare and contrast. But it was seven dollars at Walmart, so I wasn't, you know, I wasn't gonna pay too too much for it. But when I saw that, I was just like. What a coincidence, so. Uh, and I haven't had a chance to watch this yet, I uh, so I, I don't really know what picture quality's like, but hopefully soon enough. The next up, there's Inception. This was another deal at Walmart, because this was actually only 10 bucks, and prior to buying this, I'd only seen it once, and that was when it came out in the theater. So it was quite a, it was quite a treat to get it for that much money, and I got a five dollar off for dark knight rises which i never used because it's at because at that point i had already seen it so yeah there's inception it uh it does look great on blu-ray and it it holds up uh it is quite a long movie uh 148 minutes so you're talking about like two and a half hours and but you know it's got it's just got one of those casts where you know you just you, you watch it just for the cast like uh leonardo dicaprio Ken Watambi, uh, JGL, you know, all those good people, but Inception. And then uh, the last Blu-ray of the update, which I guess is, you could call the uh, the granddaddy main event, The Avengers. So far, I would call The Avengers probably my favorite film of the summer, or of the year, actually. I, I did like it better than The Dark Knight Rises, it just... It's something that we've been waiting for for about four years, ever since the end of Iron Man, and we finally got it with this. And I just, uh, I, I watched it again the other night, and it, it looks gorgeous. Like, picture quality is definitely a five out of five, if I were to rank it. Uh, and, you know, the cast is still just amazing, and just everything works. But, you know, as always, there there are lots of, there are lots of tiny little nitpicks with the movie. I'm not going to go into great detail may even save that for a video and we can get a look inside it's got one of these uh i don't know what those are called like a door i guess so you get the blu-ray uh digital copy shit and the dvd um it, it does come with actually quite a few special features i didn't i haven't watched them all obviously you know, I just want to get home and watch the movie. And I watched the movie and the Marvel one-shot item 47 short, which was pretty good. Then there's a bunch of featurettes and the gag reel, deleted scenes. And I think the DVD... Oh, and of course, Joss Whedon commentary, which I am super excited about. Because Joss Whedon always has the, uh, the best commentaries. But uh, it sucks, actually, that the UK did, didn't get a commentary. And that they got part of the film edited, but... Uh, and I, I'm not really a huge fan of the covers for this either. <laughs> uh, next up is Thor on DVD. Now, I wasn't going to buy it, but it, it, it was only $10. But I really wanted I wanted to get it on DVD, but it didn't look like the DVD was going down to a price that I felt comfortable with paying for it. Or the, the Blu-ray, I mean. So I just got the DVD for now. Uh... The Blu-ray might maybe on maybe uh, on sale after Christmas. I 
I do want to upgrade. I, I will upgrade if I see it cheap enough, but I, I would like to get all the Phase 1 Marvel films on Blu-ray, so I'd have to upgrade Iron Man and The Incredible Hulk as well. See, so yeah, Thor, I haven't had a chance to rewatch it yet. I've seen it twice, but uh, yeah, Thor and Captain America are the ones I've seen the least out of the... Well, and Avengers, but that's going to change out of the Phase 1 films. Yeah. Next up is a double feature of Clueless and Mean Girls. I got this way back in the summer, like way, way back, and you see plain, boring discs. Paramount's so good at that. But uh, Mean Girls I had seen before, but Clueless I hadn't. And obviously Mean Girls, if you haven't seen Mean Girls, I don't know what you're doing because it's just incredible. Just one of the most quotable films out there. And Clueless was actually quite good. Alicia Silverstone kind of, she, she was great. You know, people give her shit for Batgirl, but they haven't really seen, uh, or for her role in Batman Robin, but they haven't really seen what else she's been in. And uh, she, there's actually, um, I think for the one who directed Clueless, uh, like Alicia Silverstone's going to be in a new movie called Vamps, and that actually kind of looks funny. It's a uh, different take on a vampire on the vampire genre so i'm looking forward to that the next up we've got marley and me i haven't seen this and i know it's depressing i i've heard people say it's one of the saddest movies i've ever seen but I, in some ways i'm a glutton for punishment because i just really you know I, I love dogs i don't like owen wilson too much but for five dollars i can tolerate owen wilson and i really like the case there it's that's neat yeah, Marley and me. Hopefully I'll get around to watching that one soon. Uh, next up is Apocalypse Now Redux. I bought this because in another one of my classes we're, watch, we're, we're reading Heart of Darkness and she started us out with watching Apocalypse Now and that took like two and a half, three classes but I missed the last one and I figured it's a good film anyway so... HMV had it on for 10 bucks, so I figured I'd buy it and give it a watch and, you know, I get a good film and I get to do a little bit of homework too. And I have seen it before, but it was, it was years ago and I don't remember too, too much, but it's got you know, one of those good casts and, and for special features, there's nothing. There's, uh, what's it say? Theatrical trailer, widescreen presentation, English digital audio and english subtitles that's exciting next is dirty dancing i didn't buy this of my own free will uh caitlin made me buy it it was it was five dollars so i didn't mind but i haven't watched it yet it's it's one of those classic cult films i think that or maybe just one of those classic films that every everyone loves i guess but i haven't seen it uh rest in peace patrick swayze i suppose i can say there and yeah, I'll comment. Maybe I'll comment more on that after I've watched it. And next up are the TV shows. I've got three of them here. And the first one is Parenthood Season 2. Now, I actually went out and bought this after uh, one of Ferg's USA updates. He had them, and he was tweeting about it. And I was like, oh, I need more Parenthood, so... I had to go out and buy season two. It was cheap too for for it was only twenty two dollars for like twenty two episodes. So in season three, it might be a while before I get that because it's, uh, it's still about forty thirty five between thirty five and forty dollars. But Parenthood is one of those consistent shows where it just it really does get better as you go, and it's nice to see uh, it's nice to see the characters, especially the younger ones, like how they grow and you know, the different challenges they face every week. And it's just, it's such an emotional show. And I'm not afraid to admit, I've cried watching this many, many times and gotten super emotional. And they're in season four now. And I hope NBC ha has the brains to renew this and keep it going because it's just, it's it's one of those shows where I couldn't imagine it not being on TV because it's just, it's so feel good and heartwarming and really deals with uh real real issues that people have friday night lights season five now yes i do already own this but i had lent i was lending my sets to my roommates last year and then uh they'd taken 
disc two of season five and i kept asking for it back after it moved out and even before that and they just i never really got it back so i was missing disc two and i want to do a rewatch or i'm thinking of doing a rewatch soon so it's kind of pointless you know i figured even if i did ask them and demand it back it would probably pr most likely be ruined so i got this walmart like all the all the seasons are on sale for 10 bucks right now at walmart in canada so if you don't own Friday Night Lights, you should definitely go out and give it a try. You know, for 10 bucks, you're going to get good quality television for a low price. So I decided to just go out and buy another fucking set. You know, may as well. Uh, there we go. Three discs. And uh, again, uh, the same one who created Parenthood. Uh, or it's from the producer, same producers or creators and stuff and... Friday Night Lights is just every bit as emotional as Parenthood with football. And then finally, uh, the last thing I've got to show in this update is Smallville Season 10. This one was a surprise find at Walmart for $15, actually. So now I've got the whole complete series of Smallville. I will say, though, I don't like that cover. <laughs> And that's, that's obviously a promotional shot of Brandon Routh, the silhouette as Superman. Yeah, I, I just the cover's really just kind of bland for me. But the final season, uh, in terms of quality, I thought they... The last three seasons of Smallville, um, 8, 9, and 10, I really felt that they just they kicked things up. You know, it was creative change behind the scenes. So, just... It just got better and moved moved it forward a little more. So yeah, there's a cool, cool backdrop there. And there's you know you always get the booklet and stuff. And um, oh yeah, there are commentaries, deleted scenes, a featurette on the 200th episode, which is personally my favorite episode of the series, and a featurette on. Clark and Lex and their fathers and stuff like oh in a music video that's just grand so yeah Smallville while it's not the most perfect show I do because I'm a huge comic book nerd I I love the Superman connection and the references and it wasn't all bad and this is one I, I'd like to rewatch from the start as well it was on for 10 years so it changed quite a bit there Smallville and that was the update. Uh, it was quite a bit there. So, as I said, I'm hopefully going to have the other update, or my next update, around Christmas. Probably, most likely after Christmas, because that's when all the... It's after you get all the shit. And I do have other videos coming. Uh, more Buffy comic reviews, and hopefully an apartment tour, but I'm not entirely sure on that one just yet, because uh, it's a mess. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next one, and have a good one.